Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for this true stand-up freezer saying that the temperature is too warm. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. This freezer here is at 21 degrees and we should be closer to zero. Seems like a fairly new unit honestly. And look at that, it says natural refrigerant. This thing is probably one of those R290 systems. Oof, I'm not a fan of all this new A2L refrigerant coming out. Uh, leave a comment below what you guys think about that. It's all crazy these days. What's this? <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna call it right now, no maintenance. I know this place got no maintenance. Uh, so to see the fan blade this is the little door switch when you press it it should start the fan blade oh look at that That's some core operation man hold up I'll hold this switch look 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 at it upon startup pressing the switch that fan mode is struggling man we're at 21 degrees oh yeah look at that if you look at it there i'll take a picture r290 it does start but it has problems starting it's moving good now i really dislike that drain looks dirty inside there I see dirt in there let's press the start this again it's like goes tries 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 you see the, 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 the. boom starts picking up speed and now it's where it needs to be something to consider we want to make sure that fan is running anyways let's check out that condenser i guarantee you that thing is packed we're actually doing cleanings uh, i finished the whole second floor just this morning and then we told them listen if everything is like that on the second floor how about the first floor the kitchen the bars all that stuff and just so you know they're packed i would not be surprised if this one is packed they're like you know what it's brand new you're gonna be good for years to come but environments like this it's not like your regular household it gets pretty bad you want to look at the gaskets as well everything's good it seems to be running if it's at 21 degrees let's see what happens when it comes to these refrigerators usually got to take this off to do that let's see what they got phillips screw so you're going to open the door got this one screw here take that out kind of like lift this thing out the way and yep i knew it i freaking knew it man that thing is like a freaking carpet man Ooh, boy oh buddy you're reaching 21 degrees with that that's pretty good compressor's gotta be running we should turn this thing off let that compressor cool down because that thing is overheating let's see here we are in the back of the unit. Danger, risk of fire, or explosion. Flammable refrigerant use. I'm telling you, I'm not a fan of these units. Especially not doing maintenance on them. Sheesh. Let's unplug this guy. Let's give this thing a break. We gotta clean that condenser. First things first. Oh God. It's not just like dry. It's freaking wet it's greasy yep yeah. this one is pretty bad guys I'm trying to push my finger through it too this thing is greasy man it's thick Jeez, man. this one you might want a metal brush for but 
brush this thing down. I mean, stuff like this to come out of a refrigerator, it's not cool, man. But I guarantee you this thing is gonna work so much better after this is cleaned. Dear, dear Lord. Yeah. Maintenance is a scam, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, that looks better already, but there's still dirt in places that you don't want it, okay? So with these, you can usually slide these out. Took off this screw, took off this screw, and you see this, this thing can move, but it's hitting these screws right here for this. So, let me see, I got space to move it this way. I think this is our best bet. You gotta be careful with these new refrigerants. I'm gonna take this off and try to pull it out a little bit. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. A little bit of water. I wanna rinse it from the other side. Air pushes in this way, that's where all the dirt is there. I wanna push water from the other side. Got a little cleaning machine over there. So, let's see, I'm gonna take off these couple screws. Let's see if we can slide this out a bit. Okay. Careful with this one. Just want it out. It's moving out real free. So here we are. If you want to do this extra right, you're gonna pull out the fan. I mean, you got some space to get in there, but that blade is dirty too. Let's uh, pull that out. I see a couple screws right here. Three of them here, and three of them right there quarter inch screws and that motor should pull right out let's take that off all right let's pull out these screws if you guys could even see anything and this this is your, your condenser fan motor this is your condenser coil that's running hot when it's blocked like this you're gonna have high head pressure that's gonna be the symptom but this there's nothing to check See, let's get these screws out and as you can see this motor is now free all right pretty simple got this free this back side of the blade is super dirty get that out of the way and now we have the coil we're going to push water through here out this way because air gets pulled in this way so you always want to go opposite of that and uh yeah i mean you got some dirt here as well Let's clean that up, but I'm more concerned about the coil and getting this going. Let's do this thing right. As far as the condenser, fan motor, and blade, we're gonna take a rag and wipe it down. You, you see, this is getting this is a little harder to do because it's a bit greasy, but it should do the trick. So, pretty much, just gonna wipe this whole area down. No big deal. All right, and that's gonna be the process for that. So that's the difference of wiping it down. I actually use a little bit of Clorox. So that's the difference of wiping it down. I did put a little bit of bleach on there. It kind of had that just in the kitchen, but that's a huge difference. It's hard to get off actually. It takes a little bit of scrubbing. Let's clean this fan blade because that's also gonna affect the head pressure. Do that, clean the coil, start it back up, and I think we're gonna be in good shape. Let's finish this up. This is taking a little while. This is pretty thick. All right, that took longer than expected, but man, that's quite a difference there. Brand new, clean around this area. Let's hit this coil. All right, so this is the Subco Porta Blaster. It's pretty cool. Run an extension cord to give it power. And if you don't have an active power source, you just get a bucket and it pulls from there. Has a little strainer, comes in. Here we have a pump with a gauge. And then out of here with this handle, we got pressure. Pump is on right now, just press it. Got quite some pressure there. So I set up a bag underneath here. So I'm gonna push water through this side. It comes in this way. So I'm gonna push air out this way. Cause this side is more packed than the other side. And we're gonna have everything pretty much full into the bag. Got the motor out of the way. You can cover that with plastic too. But that's pretty much it. All right, let's do it. Let's get this in the back. Coming out of there on the bottom. So 
we're pretty much gonna push this through, make sure it's clean. And yeah. Should be in good shape. After a little while, sometimes it's better just to not use chemicals to be honest with you. It really depends. It really depends, but you don't want this thing eating away at the coil and then this thing being an explosive freaking refrigerant. Look, you got freaking notices everywhere. That's insane. We're just gonna use water pressure, air pressure, a little brush, and you should be good. That right there is awesome. Cleaned all around, even the condensate pan inside there, the blade, the coil. It's okay, man. So you should be good. You should real be good. Let's just go ahead and put this thing back on. Start it up and check the temperatures. That's that. We're gonna put this thing back. All right? Blade is back on. No scratching. We're gonna push this on. Let's start this thing up. All right, so I turned this thing on right here. If you look, there's two little blue LED lights on the top too. So that's pretty much saying we're in cool mode and the system is running. So the cool mode on top light, it says compressor's running. And this one's saying that the evaporator fan is running. So top one is pretty much for the condensing unit, which I hear the compressor running and the condenser fan motor is spinning and it's saying that that fan is running so let's give this thing a chance it's at 27 degrees right now and uh let's let's see what happens hopefully we don't gotta get to any uh settings in here and just let this thing run and let it let it do its thing Okay, so I was trying to see what the set point is. There's four buttons here. One, two, three, four. I'll show you guys a diagram as well. But you pretty much hold this down. And that's the set point, negative four. Release it, that's fine. This thing was locked. So, to unlock it, let's see. What, what did I do? Uh, hold down the info button. No. To unlock it, you're gonna press the info button. See some codes. You see lock, right? And you hold this left button again. As you can see, it says no. You want to lock it? You go up arrow, yes. Let's go down to no. And like this, you unlock it. Go to that LOC function. Man, what a mess. So now I can see what the set point is. And now you can mess with the set point. So you hold here. And you change it, yeah. See right there, you can hold this button and you could adjust the arrows. So. Negative four, kind of weird, but zero is honestly fine. Anywhere from zero to negative 10 will be good. So now we know it's set to zero degrees. Condensing unit is running, evaporator fan is running. Everything is clean. Let's give this thing a chance. Temperature is definitely coming down, taking a little while, but we got no error codes under control. Compressor's running, condenser fan motor's running, evaporator fan motor's running, and clearly box temperature's coming down. There's not really much else to check here. This is a closed system, so we're not checking pressures. I guess we could look at some of the temperatures, but pretty much you're just gonna let this thing run and let it be. You ain't messing with that, man. Last thing we need is an explosion over here. So, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this for a bit, but everything is doing its job. Even when I came here, it was doing its job. It's just the unit was suffocating, so let's hope for the best here. All right, guys, temperature is coming down, taking quite some time. We're just gonna let this thing be. Everything is running, so what are you really gonna check? The only thing down to efficiency would be here is if 
this thing has the correct charge because all the components are operating. No error codes, all the components are operating, you just gotta let it do its thing. If it doesn't reach temperature, it could be an issue with charge and with this type of gas. Woohoo, good luck. We're gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Make sure to do your maintenance, and I'll catch you all next time.